go. Okay. So I've got a lot more time to say things and not nearly as much to say, so I don't really have to plan this commentary out nearly as much. <laughs> Handy double attack thing there. I go on the bottom route even though I can get more uh, points going the other way, I think, because uh, that power-up will come in handy later. I go up and shoot the door for an extra 500 points. Always nice to get 500 points for shooting absolutely nothing. This is one of the few times I actually turn this thing around because I've got plenty of time to do it. But I don't usually bother. It's only worth 300 points there, but I might as well because I'm not doing anything too spectacularly difficult during that time. Alright, so if I save the bomb until there, I can shoot all the fish and get rid of that other guy. That seems to be the best use of the bomb that i found anyway. That part's surprisingly difficult, it took me a while to work out how to do that consistently. Lots of points for shooting the rubber ducks, because rubber ducks needed to be an enemy in this game. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. It makes more sense the more that you think about it. Alright, so this guy is annoying because sometimes the bomb doesn't seem to affect him, so it doesn't always... I can't always kill him quick after. Another door, but there's also that other guy up there that I go out of my way to shoot. His stuff's all kind of chumpy. Grabbed an F and a B. I actually... This is one of the only air. Pretty soon is coming up one of the only areas where I can take my controller off the fire button. That thing, it's important not to shoot that thing because you can destroy it. It's kind of weird, but yeah, here's where I can take it, my finger off the fire button. The, those, it doesn't look like it, that thing I picked up is helping right now, but it will when I get to the, the other style of level and I, it increases my number of shots. It also means that I can pick up more and... I'll get points for them instead of, uh, nothing. So yeah, I got... I'm gonna have to deduct the points that I got from that bullet. Because that's technically respawnable. It would be very, very tedious and difficult to shoot his bullets for an hour to max out your points, but that's besides the point. Alright, this level I think I didn't do too well. Yeah, I didn't shoot any, many of the missiles there, that lost me a lot of points. However, I shot every one, single one of those guys, so that's pretty good anyway. That doesn't usually happen, i usually pretty consistent at missing just one of them. It's not even consistent which one I miss. I shot most of the missiles there, that's okay. I used the bomb there because uh, I can't shoot all those guys I don't think fast enough. There I mess up pretty bad and lose out on that turret, but whatever. It's probably the biggest point loss I had. That's another one you can shoot, and I don't want to do that because it's worth like 4,000, 5,000 points, which I don't know. I didn't really look at the exact point values of most of this stuff, but I know it was quite a bit. thousand points now. You gotta go up the left here. This thing, unlike the other power-up base, the other things are just power-up holders, but this one randomly spawns an enemy for some reason to shoot it. I grabbed the life there, which was a mistake. The life is absolutely nothing for me. I could have gone over and shot some more missiles, but I forgot what I was doing. Those guys are chumps. There's not much to say with that area. Just for the sake of avoiding having to do the math, I kill the boss this way and avoid any... avoid killing any of his min responsible minion guys. Although it's just as easy if you have the... if you have your thing fully set up, like your Silver Surfer fully powered up, you can easily just sit in front of him and mash the fire button. Gotta go high at the start to shoot the dragons. 
Kill all three of the fish, grab the power up. I mess up there and miss one, but it's not a huge loss, only 400 points. I, I dropped the bomb here because it makes it a lot easier to get through. And I wouldn't be able to shoot all those guys anyway, so... Here I attempt to kill the boss without... Uh, I don't really have to kill the boss here. If I die, it wouldn't make a difference. Because the boss doesn't give me any points, but... I tried to kill the boss without killing any of his respawning things, and as you can see, I failed, but... Yeah, I shot another one. I shoot two of them over the course of the battle. I... On, on the test run, I did this, like, first try without shooting any of his things, but it didn't really make a difference. That's just for, like, brownie points, really. There's no advantage to killing the boss. I could have just ran into him and ended the run right there. Just for kicks, I go into the Fire Lord stage for a while, so... I guess I'll continue commentating. Uh, I, I'm aware that- I'm fully aware that the submission's over at this point, because I don't get anything from this, but... I just did it for kicks. It's a lot easier when you already have the fully powered up vehicle. I suspect that other stage, the stage that I went and did for this challenge, it's probably easiest to go to that stage and power yourself up before taking on the rest of this game if you were to do the whole game legit. Because that stage is, seems much easier than the rest of them. And it really helps out with having the full power. Everything, whereas before it would have been very masochistic to go through here, and obviously it was when I died. That guy, I'm not sure how I'm even supposed to shoot him, whatever. Just gotta kinda go past him. Lots of green things to come and ruin my day. They don't do a very good job though. Now-ish, I think, is when the scenery starts to disappear and it just turns into a flat lake of orange. It's clearly supposed to be lava, but it just looks like orange juice or something. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> with that spot before, you pretty much just gotta go through with the fire button. Apparently it... Looks like there's a lot of enemies, and I guess it's supposed to be the boss, but it's really, really easy. Take that, bats. And shoot the fire here, which is weird and doesn't help me, really. And suddenly goop from the- oh, and no, I died. Whatever, I don't care anymore. 